guys, how's it all going? Um, SDR back here, uh, been a while again. Um, but uh, yeah, I've uh, obviously come back from my sea trip and um, I've got a lot of spare time on my hands now. So uh, uh, yeah, I've just, <laughs> I went through all my old footage and I found out I had so much footage that I was always meaning to try and get up and and you know one thing led to another and I missed out on things and I couldn't put things up because I was busy doing exams and you know just life. Um, no excuses though. Um, so I've got uh, loads of footage uh, that I'm going to basically start putting up. Uh, just of all the old stuff that I got up to before uh, before I went away to sea. So um, yeah, it might uh, all appear a little bit out of date and a bit odd and it might confuse you with time frames and I might be talking about different things in different ways and different times and whatnot. But um, yeah, so uh, I thought I'd at least get the footage up. Um, so you know and share it with you plus it also gives me something to do seeing as i've got loads of time to edit and stuff now so um and also uh, my bike's going in for a service and uh, mot soon so um that'll also give me a little bit of time to get some stuff up um i do have a little bit of a weird fault though um ever since uh, milf uh, ever since i um came back and started the bike up obviously it was sat for about three months um not doing anything and um Started up first time, which was uh, very surprising. Um, good girl, good girl. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know whether you can see the uh, the rev limiter there. It's uh, constantly a good four or five thousand RPM higher than what it actually should be. Um, I'm gonna get to you know, I'll stop and I'll show you when it's just sort of noodling and just idling. You can see it's sat at like six and a half thousand uh, revs, which is a bit odd. Um, so yeah, I don't know what that is. Whether or not it's just you know it will sort itself out but um yeah although you know bikes going in for a service and mot anyway so um i'll get that checked out and get that looked into but she still rides like a peach um so uh yeah i'll um i'll put some of the old uh, footage up and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy uh, some of the old stuff so you know just a quick little little intro into that i've got a couple of bits and bobs that i'll whack in now and uh yeah, enjoy guys and stay safe. Take care. All right guys, how's it all going? Um, quick update, I have bike problems. Oh, I'm gutted. Um, it's, uh, it started the other day after me a nice little ride up out of the coast. Um, everything was fine with the bike, the bike was running sweet. Um, and um, yeah, it just I, when I went to set off back home um, after a nice spot of lunch, um, I turned it on, started up as as always, put the uh, cloak uh, the choke on, uh, gave it a couple of minutes after the bike had warmed up. I turned the clutch off, uh, the, sorry, the choke off, and the engine just died on me. And I was like, oh, what the hell? Um, so I I did it again, same thing. I then. Um, checked that the idle cable um, was was set okay and um, put it all the way to, to, to what I thought was the open side tried it again same thing happened reversed it put it all the other way uh, and exactly the same thing happened again um, so I, I can't run my bike at the minute without the choke off so my choke is slightly on at the minute um, which obviously is not great um, however you know needs must so I got it home uh, I left it for a couple of days just to see whether or not I, I don't know um, whatever the, the problem might be and um, see if it would rectify itself it didn't and uh, so I'm now on my way uh, to a garage just to, to kind of see what uh, they seem to think um, because I've, it's a bit beyond me. I've checked everything that I know that it could be. Um, so we shall have to uh, take it into the garage and see what the dealio is. Um, I'm hoping it's just something quick and simple and you know, maybe I need the carbs cleaning, I don't know. Um, but you know, we'll see. Uh, if I need the carbs cleaning, then I need the carbs cleaning and it's, it's just obviously good um, for uh, bike maintenance and and then apparently once you get the carbs cleaned it feels like a new bike afterwards 
or like it was brand new at least anyway so we shall uh, we shall see how it goes uh, apologies for I stopped talking I've, I've got to kind of ride the accelerator a little bit uh, when I put up the junctions you know but uh, it's all part of the learning curve uh, this bike is is the one good thing about an older bike is that it gives you plenty of opportunity to learn about the bike learn what goes wrong with it learn how to fix things and um, you know uh, have that experience it's like having an Alfa Romeo isn't it um, <laughs> so I've been told um, so yeah it's uh, fun and games and I'm now going into the town centre joy so uh, yeah this should be fun let's see if it cuts out oh it's thinking about it and there we go so uh, yeah this should be fun so anyway I'll uh... oh shit too much choke it's, um, it's all fun and games and I've stopped on the lights oh well um, but yeah so anyway guys I'm gonna need to uh, concentrate on this one so I'll uh, catch you guys in another time with an update on how it's all going